We are in Rio de Janeiro, Barra Tijuaca. We're in the Hilton Hotel and we're traveling to different places in Rio. We're going to be going to Christ Redeemer tomorrow, which is really exciting. But we wanted to have, try traveling as light as possible. So we had eight kilogram allowance for our travel to Brazil and we used just backpacks. We managed to get six to seven kilograms in our backpacks to last us the 14 days. So what an idea of when we're actually in Brazil of being able to carry, this, carry stuff quickly, easily, without having loads of bags on us all the time. So I was having a look around for lightweight stuff and I found this. Now this we put in a bag on the travel here. It weighs next to nothing. I'm not sure what the total weight is, but I can tell you afterwards in the descriptions. And it's by Huang Kang Feng. It's a, it's a Chinese brand. It's traditional like AliExpress sort of product. So with the quality, I don't know if it is, we've not tested it. It comes in a little carry bag like this. So you can technically place it within your pocket and carry on with your day with no bag still. So no one knows you've got a bag. If you want to get stuff afterwards and put it in your bag, you will always know that you've got this here. So, or you can also tie it to a pre-existing rucksack if you've got one or arm wrist, but I like it in the pocket. It's portable and easy to use. So let's open this up and actually see if it's any good or if it's a pile of crap. So, you open it up, drawstring, pull string, we we'll call it. Now, I'm not sure if this is attached to the bag. And like you get in hammocks, you get the actual pouch attached to the actual item itself. No, separate, okay. So it comes out like this, and it is, So yeah, it's the size of it, it's very, very light. See, it feels like actually on the back first. It's very, very light. But it's gonna be in it very flimsy and stuff. The purpose was that if we go out and we buy stuff when we're out, for instance like bottles of water, we can chuck them in this bag easy and then have a drink, and once the water's gone, we can chuck the water away. And if we go to a bar or a restaurant or somewhere and we don't want to be carrying bags still, the plan is that when the bag's finished with, items-wise, we can pop it back in here, into our pocket, like we never ever had a bag in the first place. So this is it on my back. Two pull strings, it's adjustable. But yeah, but to make it lighter, everything is sort of webbed. It's not full material, so I wouldn't go crazy with this. I think it's like 10 litres. Capacity doesn't actually stay on there. Yeah, a little space here for your, for your drinks and stuff, but again, I wouldn't rely on this for taking too much of a load. So. Let's see what we can fit in here, actually. So we have got, they're empty because we've been, they are empty because we've been drinking out of them, but technically the plan was that we buy bottles like this, which fit in the bag perfectly, like they actually do. With room. If we buy, for instance, some snacks on the way out from the trips, when we go to Christ Redeemer, you've got a bag with some food and munchies in. You don't want to be carrying the bag around all the time, so you can then put the bag, once you empty your bag of all your food, you can chuck all the rubbish away or recycle it. And then you've got the bag to go back into your pouch, into your pocket. That's two drinks. Quite easy, isn't it, actually? We've got another pocket on the front as well, which depth-wise, I think it comes down to this part here. But again, I wouldn't put too much weight on it. It's not like it's double-stitched or anything. You're probably in there your passport and stuff in there but again you probably want to risk it having there there's no internal hidden patches either like security ones here for your back so it's a bog standard easy accessible right set lightweight as well i think it's a really good idea how it's gonna handle the weight of the bottles of water i don't know i mean it doesn't feel tough 
Yeah. So this doesn't feel that tough. But if it lasts you like just a weekend, it costs two pound, I think, or three pound. Uh, maybe four pound with the shipping, I can't remember now. So it's very affordable, very cheap. So let's just say now we've finished our day, the bag's all finished with, we've drunk all our drinks, we've had our food, we don't want to be carrying the bag around, so we literally put the bag together. Roll it up. And it should just stuff back into the sack, really. Cause the amount of time, like I could have said, that's what she said today is unreal. Let's just see if it just goes in there. Always easier getting things out in it than getting it back in. Maybe we should play innuendo bingo during these episodes. Every time I say something innuendo, <laughs> someone wins a prize. I'll be bankrupt in about 10 minutes, won't I? There you go, pull your drawstring. Even that's sounded wrong. Back to normal. Bags back in here, in your pocket. You'll never even know you've had a bag. I think that's a great idea. I think it's really good. Um, going to the beaches and stuff like that. I don't know, you've got your drinks, you've got your food, you finish with it, put your bag away. Or in an emergency, just say you've finished your day and you wanted to buy some souvenirs but you didn't want to carry your bag all the day till the end. Keep that in your pocket, you don't even know it's in there, it's so light. Uh, you can then pull it out at the end, buy a couple of souvenirs that you want, then chuck them in here. Or if you're doing the last bit of shopping, a couple of bottles of water from the way back home. You can then buy it, chuck them in here, and carry them for the end of the journey. So, so far, the idea is good, but we're gonna put it into practice properly with some weighted water and some food in that when we go out on the day. And then we'll find out if all the stuff I said was actually important or not, because this might just fall apart after the first, the first hour. <laughs> Update on the bag. It carried the t shirt, um, the chamar, trousers, my other bag inside of it. All perfectly on the back. No issues. Done a fantastic job. And now I'm going to roll it up, put it back in its sack. It, yeah, it's finished with it. Yeah, really good. If you're interested in these, then send me a DM, send me a message. And I'll be adding them to the website very soon for purchase. At first, we'll be getting these ones um, from China. But I'm going to be looking at getting some branded ones and maybe some customised ones with um, a DD little back pouch. That's what I'd like to add to this bag, um, just so you can store stuff against your back as well, that like security, a bit more protection. Maybe you want to put your phone away, slide it in the bag, even in airplane mode. In the back there, pinched your back very much, um, very more secure, and much less likely that someone could just reach in and grab your phone. But yeah, let's go back into the pouch, into the little carry sack, and we'll use it for another day. But yeah, overall, very, very pleased with this product.